Hi everybody, Marguerite here. In today's video, I'm going to do another art style vlog video where I show you the projects that I've been working on over the past several weeks. The big ones are this junk journal that's behind me here, as well as a postcard project and a bit of personal uh, news to share regarding a new family member in our household. So this is my summer edition of my art vlog, where I show you some of the projects that I've been working on over the past several weeks. The big project is this junk journal, and it has taken me a bunch of weeks to continue working on it, add things, uh, decide how I want to decorate it, and so on. But before I give you the flip through of what it looks like and how it turned out, I want to go back and show you how I put together starting with the cover. Some people are really interested in the details of how I put a cover together. So I have a four minute video with text to show you that. If you're not interested in seeing how I put the cover together and just want to go straight to what it looks like inside, skip over this part and move on to the next chapter in the video.
cover looks like. I have a really pretty piece of washi tape, postal, postal themed washi tape at the bottom. And this was an envelope. And I stitched it in, pan stitched. So the covers are a little bit more stiff. And then I just kind of lined them with a couple more envelopes. And on each page I put, I added some things like mo more stamps if I had loose stamps just, you know, from my own stash. Um, or you know, I added more stamps here onto the envelope. So sometimes I, I added additional embellishments. I glued things in um, this way and also this way just I just look for any opportunity to be able to stick in covers of envelopes sometimes I left the envelope open so that I could add more pieces of of art or add um, letters keep the letters This one also has a pocket here, and there's a pocket over here. I have a lot more um, pockets that are empty because th the book just got so thick that I'm not able to add more. Actually, I could add more if I really wanted to, but it would really give the whole book a whole a the alligator mouth, and I really don't like that. I like my books to go nicely into a shelf, bookshelf, so there are these envelope holders, but there's nothing inside. I should have made three signatures instead of four, and then that way I could have added a lot more art. But I put in four signatures. <laughs> I guess that means that I need to add or I need to create another yet another one of these junk journals so that I can uh, use up the rest of the envelopes that I do have left over. Sometimes I used security and uh, security envelopes how do you call it business envelopes with with the pattern inside. So summers are tough for me creatively just because there's so much going on in my house. Um, the kids are home from school, first of all. So somebody's always hungry. I'm cooking, I'm cleaning. Uh, there's tons of projects, kids doing stuff with camps or um, going to the library, whatever. Um, so my time is not quite my own through the summer. And in addition to that, we had my relatives, my in-laws visiting from overseas. One of the gifts that they brought to us was this gag gift of toilet paper with Czech currency printed as the paper. 
the joke is that inflation has gotten so bad that the value of the currency has dropped so low. And so at first I didn't really think much of, of this, <laughs> of this gift. But then when I started to look at the print design on the toilet paper, I thought, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be great to collage with this? So that's what I did. I took a couple of sheets of this toilet paper and there is a couple of layers of the paper so that you can remove one of the layers and just work with the topmost layer that has all the print on it. So I used that and a bunch of other elements to create this postcard collage. I also added some rubber stamping and I added some glitter mist. And I used a Czechoslovak postage stamp since I don't have any Czech stamps on hand. Lastly, we have a new member of our family. This is Jadzia, and if you're wondering about the name, it comes from a Star Trek character. All of my family are big Star Trek fans, in, including myself, and so that's how she came to have this name. She is a Rhodesian Ridgeback, and she is a ton of fun. She's also a handful, not surprisingly. Um, we are in the middle of puppy classes and lots of training. Uh, we're, we're doing our best to, to train her now so that she is a well-behaved dog as an adult. It's going well and it's a challenge, of course, but we're enjoying her very much. So that's about it for my summer projects. The last thing is that we currently have an art exchange open right now. Uh, until the end of August, I am accepting postcards with the theme of this is where I am from. So if you're interested in more information about that, I will put a link in the description box with more information. So let me know in the comments what kinds of projects you have been working on this summer, and I will see you next time.